Starting a small business takes a lot of planning and the ability to execute your business plans. Though it doesn't require a big capital for a small business, however, you cannot lose your capital as this will cause a serious trouble on the financial front at the same time your future expansion plans. If you have the knowledge about how to run a business successfully, you won't be able to take a wrong move that can affect your business plans. Today, in this video, we're going to share 10 questions you must ask yourself before you start a business in 2020. Number 1. Is there a reachable, hungry market for the products and services you plan to offer? Before you start a business, you want to identify the specific target market that is ready, willing, and able to buy from you. This means the people in your chosen market are ready to welcome you with open arms because you're going to provide what they want and need. Number 2. What makes your products and or services unique? When starting a business, it's never enough to simply select a juicy market and set up shop. Smart entrepreneurs know there's more to it. What would motivate the people in this market to buy from you? Don't overlook this important consideration. You need to have a competitive advantage to succeed in the long run. Number 3. What will you do in difficulties and obstacles? When starting a business, there are many different things you have to think about, like products, facilities, office equipment, shipping, and a whole host of other issues. Planning is a huge help. But invariably, something happens that throws a wrench into the best laid plans. Number 4. Do you know how many funds you require for launching your business? Once you're pretty sure your idea is viable, and you know what's involved legally, you should sit down and write up a list of equipment and materials you will need to start up your business. This startup budget will become part of your larger, more complete business plan, but more importantly, will help you decide whether or not you will need to seek additional funding and how much before opening the doors. Number 5. What is your USP? USP stands for Unique Selling Proposition. If you are entering a competitive market, your product or service will need something that will distinguish itself from its competitors. This USP is what you will ride on, what will help you sustain the initial costs, and also what will help you make profit. However, it does not take very long for competition to catch up, and you will have to keep thinking up new USPs or revising them all the time. Number 6. Do you see yourself as an entrepreneur? If the only reason you want to start a business is because you think you see franchise opportunities and business potential when you look in the mirror, then you need to take heed. Having the traits of an entrepreneur doesn't always equate to being an entrepreneur. You might believe that creativity, persistence, and risk tolerance make for good franchise opportunities in owning a business, but those traits only pop in 10% of entrepreneurs or less. Number 7. Do you have an exit strategy? Some business owners and franchise owners will brag that they don't really need an exit strategy because they don't plan on going anywhere beyond the immediate with their business. At some point, however, you have to realize that your business might need you less than you need your business. This often occurs in fast-growing companies where the franchise opportunities or the business outgrow the founder. Number 8. Do you know all the legal paperwork with authorities? In Step 2, you researched what permits, licenses, registrations, and insurances you would need. Now is the time to fill out all that paperwork, affix checks for the fees, and mail them off to the proper authorities. Expect this process to take a few weeks. But don't worry, you'll have plenty to do while you wait. Number 9. Do you have an idea about the best business location, hiring staff, and required skills? 
make sure you set up your workspace in an area that is large enough to suit your needs, private enough for you to concentrate, and well lit. If you need to hire staff, you should wait until your office is set up before interviewing. You'll look more professional. Number 10. Do you know how to write a business plan? By now, you should have enough information to write a thorough business plan outlining the details of your plan, your business model, a marketing plan, financial predictions, and the male personnel of the company. If you have decided to seek financing, you should focus on your financials to prove that your business will be profitable. While educated guesses are okay up to a point, don't exaggerate your predictions to make your idea seem more profitable. Lenders will see right through that. If you are searching for writing a business plan for your startup, then check our video about how to write a business plan and get detailed information about planning your business in easy words. Video link is in the video description. Whether you think up of starting a business online or offline, you will realize that these questions are the ones you need to answer first. It's always good to deal with them before you begin, rather than being confronted with them at a later stage, when even finding the answers won't be of much help. If you found this video helpful, then like, share, and subscribe our channel to get future videos. Share your thoughts in the comment box. Also, press the notification bell icon to get our video notifications.